Supporting grassroots running, uh, this is the Stenning Stinger. We've done this many times before. And we're gonna jog around again. Um, I'm supposed to be in the, like, the top end of marathon training at the moment, but it's not happening. I've been ill, as you know, so uh, we're just gonna jog around this and have fun. Uh, we've got to negotiate this puddle first. Hi there. Thank you. So Stenning Stinger, if you remember, is the run that there's no, well, there is a start, but uh, it's a rolling start. You can just start whenever you want between, you know, seven o'clock and nine or something like that anyway. Uh, so we just rock up, park in the car park and, uh, and get on with it. Beautiful morning, it's cold, but it looks like the sun is gonna come out. Uh, there's blue skies. There's some lovely mist over the uh, river over there. So it's gonna be a gorgeous run. Seven thirty-five. Uh, we're going to start. So let's go. We cross the timing mat, press our watches, and we are off. That's it. So we're going to take this very easy today because, as I say, I am not fit. <laughs> Nowhere near. <laughs> it's also liable to be very, very muddy on the course. It's been wet for a good few weeks. Not like last year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mud, mud free for about a kilometer. <laughs> We've gone a slightly different way in the first two kilometers, just coming off the road. All right, Gaz. I'm very well. Um, Gaz, organiser of Richmond Park and oh, so many other events. I must come and do Richmond Park Marathon again, actually. It's such a lovely run. Yes, 19th of May, I think. 19th of May. If you want to do Richmond Park Marathon, absolutely gorgeous marathon. Haven't done it for years, but uh, yeah, get yourself down there. And also the Vanguard Way Marathon. August the 4th for Gaz's Vanguard Way Marathon as well. Yeah, so normally we follow the road all the way up to Whiston House. But uh, today, we're on this newly laid path. Right, that's three kilometres in in just over 20 minutes, 21 minutes. We'll go through the farm. Beautiful with the sun behind us. I'm running with Dimmy. <laughs> and uh, we're about to start a very um, long, muddy section in a minute. I mean, it's been muddy already, but this is gonna be something else in a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's really, really bad. So what do you think of it so far, Sharon? Oh, it's great. Lots of lovely mud, just what we like. So you just said to me that normally you would do Brighton Marathon. Yes. This is a bit different. A bit different, yes. <laughs> I'm getting old now, but I'll move to the trails. <laughs> Enjoy your race. Thank you, Angie. See you guys. Bye. Oh, bye. All right, we are 5K in, 35 minutes, and we're just climbing. Long, long climb in a minute to the top of the South Downs. Up and downy at the moment, very muddy. Um, it's cold, but when you're running, it's absolutely fine. If anything, I feel a bit hot in my jumper here. North Downs over there. Beautiful with the mist just below the hills. Now, believe it or not, this is an airfield here. So this strip of grass is an airfield. The, the, the farmer in there owns a plane and he takes off from this strip of grass just, just down here. You can't see it through there, can you really? But it's a biplane, I think. And you can quite often be seen flying over the South Downs. Uh, how are you, Mark? I'm not, I'm, I'm all right, I'm all right. I'm struggling a bit today, got a bit of a throat today, but we're all right. A uh, perennial, perennial marathon runner. You've seen Mark on many of my videos, but I don't think I've 
I don't think I've slipped the camera in his face for a few years. <laughs> We're not uh, outside the bedroom anyway, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to make it in. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Mark, tell everyone how many marathons you've now done. Uh, uh, it's only two, three, three today, I think. Only 233 marathons. That's rubbish. It's rubbish. Needs to pull his finger out. I do. Yeah, compared to Dave Lewis and Steve, I'm a, I'm a novice. <laughs> right, we're sec 7K in, 48 minutes, 49 minutes. We're just going through little uh, village of uh, Washington here. And then we'll climb up onto the South Downs. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, mate. Hello, mister. How's it going? Just over five miles. Climbing up this big hill now to the top of the South Downs. And when we get to the top, beautiful views down into Washington and Stenning and all over to the North Downs way. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. And me and Mark have run all the way up. 10K in one hour, 10 minutes top of the downs we're about to turn back and head towards Chantonbury to be fair me and Mark both wanted to stop and walk on that hill but we were too full of testosterone <laughs> Right, this is Callum. Uh, Callum's angry with me because last year we filmed this event. Have a look up there, I'll link it up there. And uh, it was the driest on record. And uh, Callum and his mate said, oh, that looks a breeze, that does. Yep. And of course, how are you finding it? It's a lot more difficult than your video suggested. <laughs> I saw you and I was like, <laughs> I need to put a formal complaint in. It's the only reason we signed up, because it looked so nice. 5k in, we're walking up hills like Everest. <laughs> but now tell me though, how many marathons have you done? It's my first one. You've never even done a trail race before? Never done a trail race before. So it's uh, So there you go. It's an experience. Well, good <laughs> luck. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, I can't resist a bit of chocolate. First bit of chocolate of the day. 13 and a half K in. Hour and a half done, one hour, 31 minutes. We are 10 miles in to the Stenning Stinger Marathon. One hour, 51 minutes. Just coming to the top of the climb up to Chanctonbury Ring. The sun is out. We're having a beautiful day. We're not going quick, but we don't care, do we, Mark? No, we don't care. It's all about enjoying yourself, having a good chat. Right, here's the point in the race where if you have decided to do the marathon, but then you're absolutely shattered, you can just go straight that way and do the half. And if you think, well, I could do the full marathon, but I'm not quite up to it, you can go and do the 30. So you have a choice, even doesn't matter what marathon or what um, run you've signed up for, you can decide whilst you're running whether you want to do the half, the 30K or the full. So I think I'm quite happy to uh, carry on with the full at the moment. So we'll go this way. A uh, nice little bit of downhill coming up now. We're going to go down the hill to Sisbury Ring. So we've just come from Chanctonbury Ring. Now we're going to go down to Sisbury Ring. And uh, we are 18 kilometres in, in, in two hours. These boys are going the easy way. Sit, sit down sport, that is. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Let's do that. Hello, Andy, you all right? Looks like 
30 k turnaround is here, but we have a little loop to do. We're going to go down and then back up what's called Cardiac Hill to get to the top of Sisbury Ring, which is this hill here. And then it's back off towards Stenning and we've got another little loop to do around Steep Down before we get to the finish. So we're just coming up to 13 miles, so not nearly halfway now. We've now done 21 kilometers, two hours, 19 minutes. So it looks like a finish of around 4.45, which would be an hour slower than last year. Load of guys doing their Duke of Edinburgh. Well done, guys. Tom, is this your first time doing this race? It certainly is. But you're from Worthing? Yes. What have you been doing all this time? If I've been injured. <laughs> this is like redemption. And you've got what coming up as well? Well, three ports, hopefully. Nice. Yeah, and then maybe the uh, beach and head. Oh, you're not going easy on the marathons then? No. <laughs> no. Have a good one. Nicola, what's your running club? Uh, well, Harville Hash House Harriers. And why are you here? Because um, I love trail running. This is your first time doing this one, yeah? But yeah, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a big gang of you, isn't there? Yeah, there's nine of us here from the club today. Um, yeah. We're working our way up. We've got Lakeland in summer. Oh, so gosh. We're early training for that. Fantastic. Well, well, have a good one. Thank you. Twenty-five kilometers in, so ten miles to go. Sixteen kilometers left, sixteen, seventeen-ish, and uh, we've done that in two hours forty-four minutes. So we're not breaking any records today, but we don't care. It's a beautiful day. The sun's out, the birds are singing, and we're climbing up Cardiac Hill to get to the top of Sisbury. <laughs> Easy work, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 28 kilometers in, three hours and six minutes. Feeling it now, just starting to ache in my neck and my back. But we'll get this done. Got really warm climbing the last hill. So we're now down to the vest. Gloves off, hat off. Still enjoying it. Hi there. Yeah, lovely. You're supposed to bring your own cup, which I forgot to do. Well done, buddy. I either get somebody to pour a jug into my mouth or I don't have any water for the entire run. Let's see how far I can get. The videos. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. All right, matey. This is not fun. What are you on, the marathon? No, 18. 30k. 30k? Oh. You turn around up there yeah, and come back. Going. Nice. I'm done. <laughs> you have not long to go. Hey, Steve, How's it going? Channel. Cheers, bud. So I said I forgot my cup, but thankfully there are one or two cups. So we've got a little loop to do of steep down now, and then we come back here, and then it's just three miles up to the finish. Thirty k done, three hours twenty five minutes. So this loop around steep down, and then we just got a big climb, and there's a long downhill all the way to the finish. That seems a little way off just yet, though. Starting to tire quite a lot, hips, back, legs aching. But this is the first long run I've done in months, so. <laughs> Not a surprise, really. Right. Yeah. 
Well done, mate. Well done. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Interesting to contrast this year with last year. So I've just hit 20 miles in three hours, 38 minutes. So uh, let's just interject a little bit of video from last year when I reached this point. There we are, that is 20 miles done in two hours, 50 minutes. So we've got 10K to go. And if I want to do it in under four hours, I've got an hour and 10 minutes to do 10k. So let's go and do this thing. Feeling okay. Feeling pretty good. See, it was a lot drier last year and I was a lot fitter. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, six miles to go, 10k. Let's get it done. k in uh, four hours and five minutes oh dear and we're back at the a station so we've been round steep down we've got about 7k to go Thank you. yeah definitely suffering today though even though it's a beautiful day it's just really hard going underfoot and uh, when you are a bit under fit then uh, yeah it takes its toll Thank you so much for that. Thank you for being here. Cheers, guys. Over the timing mat, and we have just 6K to go, 7K to go. See, it affects your brain as well. four and a half hours in, nearly 38k, not quite 38k, um, so yeah, about 4k to go, but I have crashed and burned now, I can't bring myself to run, I mean it's gorgeous isn't it, you can see what a lovely day it is, but um, that's me done for today, I am shattered. I just, I mean, it's a big downhill, so obviously I'll run that downhill when we get there. But, uh, yeah, crashed and burned now. It's all good though, we love it. Glad I did it. Glad I'm here. James, how have you found it today? Uh, muddy, tough, but what I needed to do. Yeah. What have you got coming up? 100 hills in a couple of weeks, so this is my last training run for that. How far is the 100 hills? 50k. Nice one. Well, good luck with that. Cheers. Didn't stop at this aid station last year, but I wasn't so knackered this time last year. <laughs> Thanks for being there, guys. Appreciate it. Bit of chocolate, glass and a half of water, and two miles to go down the hill to the finish, which I will be very glad to see. And down we go. Could be very slippy.
just hit 40k we've got about 10 minutes to get in if we want to do it under five hours i don't think that's going to happen i don't think i can do 2k in 10 minutes legs are so tired 4 hours 52 minutes 40 kilometers and 400 meters oh i'm so tired <laughs> Five hours, we've done 41 kilometers and 200 meters. Got about a kilometer and a bit to go. This is actually gonna be, for the first time ever, it's gonna be over a marathon distance. So well done to Stenning Stinger and well done to the Stenning Athletics Club for getting this distance uh, pretty much bang on. And very good signposting as well uh, this year really well signposted marshals as well in lots of new places so and yeah slightly different route which meant uh, that uh, yeah we are definitely going to hit over 42 kilometers if i can get through this last bit of mud thoroughly enjoyed it though as always try and run i've got so much mud clogged into my boots into my shoes Well, there is literally no let up in the mud right to the very end here. I think even if I was on top form and feeling fast, there's no way I'd have got anywhere near last year's time with conditions underfoot like this. I mean, glorious up above, but absolutely diabolical down below. From my fastest Stenning Stinger last year to my slowest Stenning Stinger this year, we're going to cross the line in five hours and 11 minutes. Wow, that was hard work today. Thank you. Done. Thoroughly enjoyed that once again completely shattered but yeah Stenning Stinger is always a great run whether it's dry whether it's muddy whether it's blowing a gale and windy or whether it's sunny like today a gorgeous day today so now if you want to you can go and have uh, breakfast in the uh, old grammar school Stenning Grammar School and uh, it's you know it's free paid for by your entry sausages uh, beans uh, scrambled egg, all sorts. Thank you very much, thank you. Yeah, so here's where you get your exciting breakfast. Did you beat me again? <laughs> if you want to watch last year's Stenning Stinger where I did an hour and 20 minutes faster, then uh, click that link right there and uh, I'll see you on the start line next time. Take care everyone, bye bye.